Bruce and I, again, a very talented Pioneer Panther team has come to town. This should be a good basketball game here tonight. All right, the uh, pregame warm-up is concluded. We're going to get the introduction of the starting lineups and the national anthem, and then we'll be ready to rock and roll here at Goodno Gymnasium. Decent crowd on hand here tonight. Very chilly night. It's going to be very cold tonight. We're looking at some weather coming in late week, but it appears, at least here in the Valley, to be rain, not snow. So hopefully all the games that are scheduled the rest of the week will get in. Our guests this evening are the Pioneer Panthers, the members of high school, the member high schools of MIAA and the PBIAC request that all cheering be supportive and spectators are reminded that the price of admission does not entitle one to criticize or downgrade any player, coach, or official. Please encourage these student athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Spectators may be removed from the gym for any unsportsmanlike comment or act. Now for tonight's starting lineup. For Pioneer, guard number one, Laura Kaler. Guard number 21, Addie Harrington. Center, number 33, Caroline Ray. Forward, number 12, Haley Ray. Forward, number 3, Sophia Walker. Pioneers coached by Kevin Harrington and John Pike. Now for your Frontier Red Hawks. Guard, number 20, Claire Kirkendall. Guard, number 15, Kylie LaFord. Center, number 12, Delaney Fifield. Forward, number 10, Madison McKemmy. Forward, number 22, Haley Kapowski. Frontier is coached by Dave Bichon, Tom Scalzo, and Kate Blair. Tonight's officials are Steve, Stephen Kreitz and John O'Neill. Would you please rise for the singing of our national anthem? Well, clearly the crowd is ready for the game. It looks like the girls are ready. I know big game Bobby C's ready. I'm always ready. He's born ready. Yeah, I love this stuff. This is this is what I love about winter, is being able to sit here and enjoy watching some good hoop, supporting the kids, and hanging out with JT, Jeff Terrell. Frontier Red Hawks in their home grays with scarlet red and navy blue. And the visitors from Northfield, the Pioneer Panthers, come in in the visiting black with gold and white. Steve Kreitz is our lead official, working with John O'Neill. Eight minute quarters with a 35 second shot clock. Teams are breaking their huddle on the sidelines. And we are set to go. Starting five again for Pioneer. It's Collar, Walker, Ring, Harrington, and Caroline Ring, McKimmy, Fifield, LaFord, Kirkendall, and Hutkowski for the Frontier Red Hawks. Fifield. Jumping center against Haley Ring, and the tip is controlled by the Panthers. Caroline Ring in the backcourt. Throws it up ahead on the right side to Haley Ring. She's quickly double teamed. That's that pressure. She gets away from it. Throws the pass over to Walker. They double on her. They get it to the top of the key. Working on the left side, 15 to shoot. Walker at her pass, batted down. Caroline Ring holding it over her head. Gets it to the right corner. Collar. They feed the paint. Three-pointer is banked up. No, it's good for two. Foot on the line for Sophia Walker. Excellent ball movement right there by Pioneer on that first possession. Two nothing in favor of the Panthers, but Frontier breaks back very quickly. Oh, missing the bunny on the right side. No good, and the rebound and a travel is called against Pioneer as they look to go the other way. It'll stay with Frontier. Uh, I was going to say with Pioneer, I should, wait a minute. Yeah, I was going to say, they said Frontier ball. <laughs> yeah. And throwing it in is LaFord. Kylie holding it overhead, gets it into Hudkowski. She got bumped, got knocked out of bounds. The possession will stay with the Hawks. Tell you right now, the one thing you don't want to do when you're underneath the basket is let somebody cut to the hole. Could be an easy bucket. Got to seal off that lane. Kyler McClellan comes in, a quick substitution for the Panthers. 
They get it in to Delaney Fifield. That's LaFord, top of the key. Hands over to Madison McKimmy. Bounce pass at a high post, Fifield. And on the right side, three point bomb put up by LaFord, no good. Rebound comes to Kirkendall. Claire gets it over the left side, new shot clock for the Hawks. Claire Kirkendall splits the D, runs right through, banks it home. Nice job right there by Kirkendall. That was a great move to the hole. We are tied at two, 6.40 to play here in the opening quarter. Laura Collar takes it across, gets it to Walker, back to Collar, nearly ended up in the backcourt. And again, because of that pressure, McClellan, top of the key, McClellan gets it back on the wing, passes tip, Playfield ends up with it. Frontier looks to run, nope. Pioneer gets back defensively. Kirkendall will walk it across the timeline now. Brings it to the left wing, dumps it down low. Nice entry pass, LaFord though, couldn't finish. Rebound comes to Ring. That's Caroline Ring, pass gets tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Frontier, uh, with uh, Pioneer rather. 6.06 to play here in the opening quarter. We're tied at two. Collar will inbound on the baseline right. Throws it into the corner, Caroline Ring puts it to the floor. Loop a pass on the right side. Walker takes it. Being closely guarded, a high pass picked off. Here comes Kirkendall coming the other way. All the way through, rejected down low. Recaptured though, Fightfield puts it up and in after that great block by Bailey Ring. 4-2 in favor of Frontier. That's the old take the defense, turn it into offensive play right there with that steal. And a nice defensive play there as well by Madison McKimmy, prov uh, provoking a turnover. The ball got knocked out of bounds, so it goes back to Frontier. Hawks lead by two. Five and a half to play here in the opening quarter. Kylie LaFord, nice entry pass in the paint. The leaner banked in by Haley Hutkowski. And, and everybody's getting in the game now here for Frontier. Everybody's starting to get those easy buckets. 6-2 in favor of the Hawks. Three-point bomb, top of the key, book it. Kyler McClellan knocks down the tray. Yeah, that baby was all nylon. Nice job right there from Kyler. And a steal by Walker, but she was standing on the sideline right in front of the Frontier bench. It'll go back to Frontier. And we have a substitution, I believe. Quick stop at your play with me, no, no sub. All right, we're good to go now. Inbounding on the sideline is McKimmy. Gets it in to Kirkendall. Stops on the right wing. Tried to get it Hudkowski. Great defense there by Haley Ring. Couldn't come up with the steal, but Frontier slowed down temporarily. Who will throw in for the Hawks? It was going to be Hudkowski. Now it's going to be Kirkendall. Kirkendall getting set to throw in. Holding it overhead. Having some trouble. Finally does get it in to McKimmy. Madison takes it to the free throw line. Now backs it out. Angling down to the left, loses control of the basketball. Caroline Ring gets it. On over to McClellan, long pass to Walker, tipped out of bounds, it is off of Hudkowski. It'll stay with Pioneer, they could take the lead here with a make. They will inbound on the baseline, call her to throw in. Gets it in to Ring, they work at left side now to call her, they get it. Down low, they work it all the way around the perimeter and the leaner right side by Walker, no good. Offensive rebound to Caroline Ring, but she tried to get it to her sister, ended up getting picked off by Frontier. Double team, top of the key, LaFord for three, does not get the bounce. Walker had the rebound, but she was kind of stumbling there, Bobby, they're gonna get it with steps. Well, what happened was is one of her players was literally next to her trying to get the rebound and they both were off balance. And that's why they called the travel. Yep, Walker was unable to initiate a dribble. Kirkendall inbounding on the baseline right. Bounce pass down low to Fifield. Delaney turns, puts it up. That's an air ball too strong. Weak side rebound goes to Collar and nearly threw it away. Now it is picked up by Kirkendall of Frontier. Hutkowski deep in the left, cuts into the paint. And a foul on the floor called against the Panthers. So that'll be on Collar, that'll be her first. That's the first on Laura, substitution. Whitney Dunkley checks in for the Pioneer Panthers and sitting down is Caroline Ring. So when we say Ring now for Frontier, we're, uh, for Pioneer, we're talking about Haley. Delaney, top of the key. And Kimmy tried to feed the paint to Hutkowski. 
Picked up though by LaFour, shot clock at 20, plenty of time for the Hawks. McKinney, top of the key. Goes right to Kirkendall, right side LaFord, up fakes. Now she'll square up for three, that is short. Running down her own rebound though as it came out deep. And one of the Frontier players is hurt in the paint. She is down, now slowly coming to her feet. Oh. That is Hudkowski and she is limping to the sideline now. Having a lot of difficulty. She's definitely going to have to come off here. Great seeing this obviously, she is down and you know, she was able to bear weight on her legs coming off, but she is, oh Bobby, she's in a lot of pain. I think she whacked her knee. Tell you, they, this has been a pretty physical game too. These ladies are, they're, they're battling down low. Katie Wells Robinson has checked in now for the Hawks, coming all the way through, and they shot up no good by Kirkendall. Claire couldn't get the bounce. Loose ball on the floor. It's out of bounds as Wells Robinson had it, but she was on the baseline. Substitution for Pioneer, Foda NJ is checked in. And sitting down will be Sophia Walker. We have 3.20 to play here in the opening quarter, six to five in favor of Frontier. A pass batted down by Delaney Fifield. Looks like Hutkowski's feeling a little bit better right now. The initial, that initial surge of pain seems to be receding. So I do believe we're gonna see her in this game again. Top of the key, Collar's gonna take a three. No good, it was contested. She wasn't really able to square up her feet. Kirkendall comes back, gets it left side to LaFord. Kylie holds, gets it back to Claire Kirkendall. Gets a screen, can't do much with it. Nice switch off there by the Panthers. Shot clock at 20, three minutes to play in the quarter in a one point game. In a high post, Delaney Fifield, backdoor cut. Kylie LaFord banks it in. Nice job right there to be able to move that ball by Frontier. And there's some scoring. It's been a while since someone scored a hoop. Olivia Michon, by the way, is also on the uh, court right now for Frontier. Foul on Frontier on the floor. And Harrington will check back in. For Pioneer, sitting down is Kyler McClellan, who had a good, good uh, couple of minutes there. The inbound it to Harrington. Coach's daughter, only an eighth grader, played last year as a, as a uh, seventh grader. Her pass, though, gets picked off. This is Mashan, gonna take it all the way through. Goes for the bank, a little bit awry. And the rebound is pulled down by Dunkley. NJ comes all the way through, loses control as she came through the paint, lost it out of bounds, back to Frontier. Tell you the one thing that we can say about Foda Endai is that she's very athletic. She's definitely have. She's quick, she can jump. Yeah, I try, she's a uh, big, big track person. And, and you uh, can see that yeah. just by the way she plays out Absolutely. Here. She's very good in the spring uh, season of track and field. Deep on the left side, Kylie LaFord loops a pass left side, five field. They try to go. Nice. Cutting through. LaFord is able to get the bounce. Nice play. That was a really nice play because she literally was almost under the basket trying to make that shot. Frontier 10, Pioneer 5. Two minutes to play here in the first quarter. Uh -oh. And the pass is thrown away. I, as the pass actually went to the official, Steve Kreitz. Boy, and he butterfingered that one, didn't he? He just let it go by. That's, well, that's what he's supposed to do. <laughs> well, this is a dated, well, I'll get to it maybe at the end of the quarter. It's kind of a dated reference, but a pass that went awry that helped decide a national championship in college basketball. This is a long time ago, so I'm really dating myself, but we'll talk about that when we have a moment. Cutting into the paint, LaShawn. Gets it over to Kirkendall. LaFord's gonna take a three, does not get the bounce. Rebound taken down by Whitley Dunkley. Harrington will run it up on the right. Minute 30 to play here in the quarter. Off balance shot, that is up and no good by Ring. One and done as Fifield gets the rebound. Coming through Kirkendall, had it poked away from behind. Ends up in the hands of Laura Collar. Laura will take it across the timeline right. Into the front court, stops on the wing. Going right baseline is Harrington. Double down there, pass gets tipped away. Here come the Hawks back on the attack. Back and forth we go. Well, that defense is definitely stifling uh, for Frontier, but Pioneer's doing just enough on the defensive end to keep them from scoring a bunch of points. Freeing herself for a shot from the free throw line. No good, LaFord go to a rebound, no. Katie Wells Robinson tried to go up, and uh, NJ had it on the baseline, so it will stay with Frontier. 
And checking in for the Frontier Red Hawks now is Molly Gates, number 23, seeing her first minutes. And coming back out for Pioneer now is Kyler McCullen. All right, inbounding on the baseline is LaFord. Looking, gets it into Gates. Top of the key pass is tipped away. Recaptured though by Kirkendall. Down to 40 seconds and a traveling call. Nice defense there by McClellan. And they got her on steps. I'll tell you right now, LaFord laid a serious screen. That was just amazing. 35 seconds left in the quarter. NJ, open jumper on the left side is good. Ah, nice job right there by Foda. 10-7, it's a one possession game again, taking it across. Gates has it on the right side, gets it to Wells Robinson, turns, puts it up, and that's a little bit short. Rebound taken down by Ring. This is Haley Ring, runs it up on the right side. Cross court pass, top of the key. Collar, a little teardrop in the paint, it's good. It's a one point game. Nice job right there by Pioneer, going on a 4-0 run. 10-9 in favor of Frontier, Mashan. They work it left side, and at the buzzer, three-pointer put up, no good. End of one, good no gymnasium, South Deerfield, Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's Frontier 10, Pioneer 9, Bear Country 95.3. And Frontier now in bounty with Kyla Ford right in front of us, gets it into Claire Kirkendall. Claire, the center court circle, now takes it to the right, gets a screen. Can't do much with it though. Bounce pass back to LaFord. Bounces it off her foot, out of bounds. We're going the other way. Right off her sneaker. And we have Ring inbounding the ball. And I'm talking about Haley Ring. As uh, we've got Caroline back out there. Shot went errant. NJ the rebound, no. Well, it goes up again, partially blocked. Ends up in the hands of Hudkowski who's back out there. That's a good sign. She went down hard, Bobby, in that first quarter, but she's okay now. That's good. We figured she'd go, you know, sometimes when you bang your leg, bang your knee, it's, it's that first minute or two where you're just in excruciating pain and then you, you quickly recover. She'll be sore tomorrow for sure. They inbounded, they're having trouble. Pioneer playing some really good D. Running it up on the left is McKimmy. Bounce pass to Fifield, top of the key, Kirkendall, bounce pass on the left side. Kirkendall gets it back. Shot clock down to 15 now. Nice defense here by Pioneer, great block. Oh, what a great play there by Ring, and it's gonna be called a jump ball in Pioneer basketball. You know, this game has been very defensive. You only got one foul on each team. It's been just up and down, playing hard. Love this game here so far tonight. Sophia Walker, they go to Caroline Ring. Jumper, three ball, top of the key, that is no good. Ring gets it back, goes for the bank, no good. Loose ball finally picked up. Haley Ring unable to make that shot, coming back. And here comes LaFord, trying to feed the paint to Fifield, coming away with it. Here comes Haley Ring, coast to coast, puts it up, no good. But a foul is gonna be called on Frontier. Nice aggressive job right there by Collar to be able to take it to the hole. She's done an amazing job here tonight. Uh, Haley Ring, I'm sorry. Uh, she, she really has worked very hard on the offensive end to try to get some decent shots, and here's a chance at two. She's gonna get two free throws here, shooting off to our left. A chance to tie the game here, and she does. It's 10-10, now an opportunity to give her team their first lead of the night. Sights it, shoots it, makes it. Pioneer 11, Frontier 10, 6.40 to play here in the first quarter. Claire Kirkendall gets the inbounds pass, takes it across to Fifield. They go back door, looking to get it to LaFord, picked up though by Pioneer. Deep on the left side is Ring. Caroline got bottled up. On the right side, Walker rejected by Fifield. Great defensive play there by Delaney. All the way back, Kyla Ford goes for the bank, no good. Fifield there to clean up, no, doesn't drop. And coming back away with it now is Haley Ring. Has it on the right side, then loses control of the basketball. Went off of her upper thigh and it goes out of bounds. Pretty fast paced game going on right now. They need to sort of slow it down and start moving the ball a little bit more. And substitution, Dunkley in for NJ. 
for the Pioneer Panthers. Notice that when both of them get into a good set, they seem to be able to get better shots. Right now, they're just sort of slinging things up right now, Jeff. Madison McKimmy takes it across, now backs it out. She has it between the circles, angling now towards the right. And nice backdoor play. LaFord goes for the bank and puts it up and in. That's a beautiful assist right there by McKimmy. That's what you talked about on the pregame show. She kept her head up. Tried to find the cutter. Deep on the left side is Collar. Triple team falls to the floor and we're going the other way. Nice, uh, nice trapping defense there by the Hawks. There, Kirkendall, free throw line. Bounce pass over to Hetoski, goes out of bounds. It'll be Pioneer basketball. We have 5.27 to play here in the quarter. 12 to 11 Frontier. And sitting down is Haley Ring, replaced by Kyler McClellan. Hey, Pioneer trying to retake the lead here, but the pass got batted down by Hetoski, ends up getting it back, a two on one break. And cutting to the bucket and putting it up from the left side. It's up and good by LaFord. Nice job right there to be able to move the ball. All of a sudden, Frontier starting to open things up a little bit more here. 14-11, a 4-0 run. And a jumper from the free throw line is no good by Dunkley. Held ball on the rebound. The arrow possession, uh, er the, uh, possession arrow, I should say, favors Frontier. This is a rivalry game here for sure, and a major rivalry game is happening tomorrow night in Athol. Bear Country is going to be there. Oh, yes. High pass, too high, in fact, right through the hands of Delaney Fifield. Running it up on the right now is McClellan. Her pass, though, gets batted down. A senior T there by Fifield. Hudkowski has it. They go top of the key. LaFord, wide open three ball. Bang! She is just an offensive machine. And the lead is six. Frontier 17, Pioneer 11. Dunkley, right side pass, and a traveling call. And that is going to go against Sophia Walker. And we have a timeout called by Pioneer. We'll take the break, 419 to play first half. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's now Frontier 17, Pioneer 11 on Bear Country 95.3. All right, we're back in South Deerfield. I was mentioning, uh, you know, we had a Pioneer player throw a pass to the official. Well, I can remember this was, uh, it was 1982, really long time ago, NCAA men's championship game at the uh, Superdome, what was then known as the Superdome down in uh, New Orleans, Georgetown, North Carolina, and a Georgetown player, Fred Brown, threw a pass right to a Tar Heel, James Worthy. He, he just, he got mixed up. Threw it right to Worthy. They were able to uh, run out the clock and get the victory in the national championship game. Georgetown could have won it on a, on a possession. And it that came. was back in the days when it was uh, the big guy from Massachusetts at Latin Ridge and Latin going up against Jordan. Patrick Ewing. Yeah. Patrick Ewing. Backdoor pass. Nice play there. And finishing along the right baseline. Bloods Kirkendall, 19 to 11. It's a 9-0 run here, and a travel is going to be called uh, against Haley Ring. They're going to get Harrington back in here now. Harrington will come in for Haley Ring. I mean, you have to ask yourself, how many minutes can you sustain that kind of pressure that Frontier is putting on on the defensive end? And right now you're seeing that Pioneer is struggling here in the second quarter compared to the first. Bounce pass that goes out to Madison McKimmy. And gets it on over on the right side. Mashawn's going to take a three, gets the kind bounce. Nice shot right there by Olivia, and all of a sudden, they're doubled up. It's a 12 0 run. They went from 11 10 Pioneer to 22 11 Frontier. And Pioneer really struggling on the offensive side. Collar with a nice play, goes for the bank, though, kind of rushed the shot a little bit. And did not get the bank. Frontier looks to continue their spree here. Again, a 12-0 run to open up this quarter. On the right side, three ball is up and no good by Hipkowski. 
Harrington brings it across, gets it to Collar, finds a seam, goes right around Fife Field and gets the roll, and that breaks that long 12-0 run. Yeah, nice job taking it to the hole. Maybe that's something they may want to think about doing a little bit more. Pioneer. 22-13, nine-point Frontier lead. 2.35 to play here in the half. Now a steal by Collar. Lohr's going to take it through. One on two, blows by everybody, goes high off the window, no good. But she just kind of glided past the Frontier D, just couldn't finish. Now Mashan was open on the right side. Olivia now gets it, turns, shoots. That's a little bit short. And it comes down to McClellan. McClellan runs it up on the right. Kyler stops there, cross-court pass. Here comes Harrington all the way through, a little scoop, and it's, oh, just in and out, no good. Caroline ring the rebound, back to Harrington. And she got hit, and she'll go to the line. Or was it on the floor? Looks like that might have been on the floor. Yeah, that was on the, uh, she was not shooting. And there's only been four fouls total in this first half, so not shooting, they'll inbound on the baseline. Harrington got dinged a little bit, so. That young eighth grader will come to the bench. They get it into Dunkley and a foul. Now this will be a shooting foul as Fightfield hat Whitney Dunkley right on the arm. Honestly, she definitely made the best of her foul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> she, she, she definitely got Whitney pretty good there. First of two is up. This is no good. She'll get one more. And we want to thank more of the sponsors on the broadcast here tonight. They include Sandry Fuel, Meineke Car Care Center, and Galensky Landscaping. Second free throw, that is no good. Caroline Ring, though, got the rebound. Gets it to Haley Ring, back to Caroline on the right. Open three-pointer put up, that is off the back iron, no good by McClellan. Rebound comes down, open lane, Mashon all the way through, rejected beautifully by Ring, Haley Ring on the block. It goes out of bounds, it'll stay with Frontier, but she made a great play there. You know what the best part was, is she waited, and then when she went up to get the block, she was no, there was no body at all. Excellent job right there by Ring. All right, holding Gates, who just checked in. Gets the ball right back, turn, shoots, a little bit too strong, put back, Fifield banks it in. Boy, I'll tell you right now, they definitely are doing a good job getting those rebounds and putting them back up. Nice job by Frontier. 24-13, Red Hawks, and that pass goes out of bounds, but that's a foul, and ooh, Walker went into the stand. She got bumped a little bit, but she's okay. Non-shooting foul. That's uh, five team fouls now on Frontier. Only one foul committed tonight so far by Pioneer. Collar gets it back. They work it all the way around. Walker going baseline, gets it into NJ, and goes for the bank, no good. Battling for the rebound. Comes to Kirkendall, and a reach and foul is gonna be called against Walker. That was one of those frustration fouls? Yep. Very definition. So it'll be Frontier Basketball, a minute 16 to play here on the half. They lead by 11, they led by one at the end of one. They have been dominant here in the second. Nice defensive play though, and now a three on one break for Pioneer. Walker, little wraparound pass, and now a hell ball. Boy, they squandered a golden opportunity to score after that great uh, defensive play there by Ring. You know, what I would have done is if I was Collar, I would have just kept going to the hole. Collar has it on the baseline to throw in, looking for some help, running out of time. Gets it to NJ, got blocked by Fightfield. Pass ends up getting tipped out of bounds. It'll go to the Hawks. 59.4 seconds left here in the first half. And the pass goes in to Gates. Throws it up on the left. Holding there is LaFord. Gives it up to Mashon. Pasco pass on left, that is picked off. Two on two break. Ring with a spin move, goes up underneath and scores. Nicely done. Yeah, she is really good, and she's one who can score. They gotta start getting her the ball more. 24 to 15, Mashon stops, pops from 18. That shot is no good, rebound comes to Walker. And a quick timeout called by Pioneer. We're gonna keep it here while they decide what to do with uh, what could be a last possession. So, 
Pioneer, they've sort, they've weathered the storm. You know, it looked like for a while there it was starting to get a little out of hand. Uh, you know, they're only down by nine right now. This is a big possession, though. Halftime down, down by seven or maybe six is much different than nine. Continue to attack the basket, Jeff. That's what they got to do on the offensive end. And then if you got a couple of girls from Frontier that start caving in, you know there's open looks. And if you got your head up when you're going to the hoop, you're going to find that open person to be able to give you the easy shot. Now, if you don't take advantage of that, that's going to end up costing most likely a turnover. And then they're going to go into the locker room down nine. All right, Kevin Harrington is uh, with his girls in a huddle designing this play. Pioneer has played well. They did have a couple of leads, most recently at 10-9. Oh, I beg your pardon, they trailed 10-9 at the end of one. They led 11-10. And then that long run by the Hawks got them a double-digit lead, but they, the spread is nine right now. Collar will inbound on our own baseline. Head up and attack the basket. They cave in. Look for the open look. Here's your chance if, right now for Pioneer. All right, they get it into McClellan. Has it on the right side and tipped. Out of bounds. No foul call. It'll be Pioneer ball right at the scorer's table. McClellan will throw in. They get it in. Ring takes it across, kicks it left side to NJ, stops, pops, went for the bank, rimmed out, no good. Battle for the rebound and a held ball. The arrow will favor Frontier. So the Hawks will have it with 11.4 seconds left here in the quarter. Play man, play man right now, Pioneer. Yep, that's what they're gonna do. In the back for it, eight seconds, six, they throw it up, McKimmy runs it down, five seconds left, they're just setting it up. Tipped away, two seconds, one, that'll do it. Halftime here at Goodno Gymnasium in South Deerfield. And our score, the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, the Frontier Red Hawks 24, the Pioneer Panthers 15. The Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report next on Bear Country 95.3. And this is the Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report, live from Goodno Gymnasium in South Deerfield. The Frontier Red Hawks leading the Pioneer Panthers here at halftime by a score of 24 to 15. I'm Jeff Terrell, Bobby C. alongside, always, and always, also, Dave Reno. Taking care of things back on Woodward Road in Greenfield. Very entertaining first half, Bobby. We have two very good basketball teams going toe to toe here. The only difference is there was about a five minute span early in the second quarter where Frontier was dominant. But I tell you what, they never really threw that haymaker of a punch. They had them reeling a little bit, but Pioneer was able to weather the storm. Frontier still has the advantage. I wouldn't say it's anyone's ball game. It's Frontier's to lose, but we got a competitive ball game here tonight. We really do, and I think the biggest problem right now is, is that there's got to be a way to be able to find some more offense for Pioneer. Yeah. They're going to have to make more of their shots because if they don't, you got to, you know, I can't see people like Claire Kirkendall and people like Kylie LaFord sort of laying down. I mean, they have been doing a nice job being able to get the ball in the hoop. Also, Delaney Fightfield is very strong, too, down low. And if those girls are continuing to score and you're not, even though you're playing decent defense, it's not going to be enough for Pioneer. they got to get some O going right now in the second half. And Pioneer defensively, I mean, they're you know they're doing a fine job. They are they are disrupting uh, uh, disrupting the offensive flow of the Red Hawks. But one thing that Frontier's been able to do is that backdoor play. One girl or another has been able to kind of worm herself free, and whoever has the ball more times than not has been able to find the cutter. Well, that's because they got people that know how to be able to look for those cuts, and that's what makes it a very nice opportunity for them to get the easy buckets. Got to give credit to Madison McKimmy. She's done a nice job doing yes, that. Yes, absolutely. You know, even when Molly Gates came in, she was looking for those looks as well. So when you can find the open look and you can be able to get the easy bucket, would it be easier to take the two down low, nice and easy for a layup, or praying that you get that three-pointer that might go in for you? Take the guarantee two any day. 24 to 15 is our score here at halftime. We'll take a break on the halftime report. And we'll get started for the second half with Frontier leading Pioneer by nine at intermission 24 to 15. 
All right, we're back here at Good Note Gymnasium. Let's run down those first half numbers for you. For Frontier, leading the way with 11 is Kylie LaFord. Also four points each from Claire Kirkendall and also Delaney Fifield. Two from Haley Hakoski and also three from Olivia Machan. There is your 24. Now for Pioneer, leading the way both with four points apiece is Laura Collar and also Haley Ring. Three points from, uh, from Kyler McClellan. And then we got two each from Foda Endai and also by Sophia Walker. First half, 24, 15, Frontier with the lead. As we get ready for second half action, here's Jeff. Patriots and the Bengals Saturday at 1 o'clock on Bear Country. And that's all I want to say about the Patriots. Yeah, because you know what? It could have meant something really a lot this weekend, and it doesn't mean really anything now. All right, planned away in the second half. Pioneer with the ball, attacking the basket all right now, and attacking the bucket. What a great play there by Ring, Haley Ring. And she gets the bucket, 24-17. Nice start to the second half for the Panthers. Like the aggression. Same deal. Oh, a nice little jump hook there. And putting it up and in was Hudkowski. She's still not moving great, Bobby, after yeah. she went down. But she's a, she's a tough young lady. Banking it up from the right side. Call her for two. Boy, all of a sudden we're getting some offense here, Jeff. Six quick points within the first uh, 30 seconds. That shot up no good. Rebound put up uh, by Fifield. No, as uh, LaFord actually. Comes down to Harrington. Harrington wears her uncle's number, 21. Shot from the right side is up in no good by Ring. Rebound to LaFord. Long pass, a little bit too far. And Hudkowski could not track that errant pass. That'll go back to Pioneer. By the way, Addie Harrington's uncle is Adam Harrington, who played professional ball and also recently was a coach with the Nets. Boy, what a mess that organization is. And uh, Adam ended up paying with his job. A timeout is called by Pioneer. We will take the break. 6.44 to play third quarter. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It is... Frontier 26, Pioneer 19, Bear Country 95.3. Pioneer now inbounding the ball right in front of their bench. They trail by seven, 26-19. Pass gets tipped out of bounds, that is off. Uh, it's gonna be a foul on Madison McKimmy. A little bit of a shove there. And it's the first foul on either team here in the second half. And Laura Collar will inbound right near her bench. Throws into Caroline Ring, right back to Collar. Her open jumper from the right side is no good. Harrington, the weak side rebound, double team in the corner. And, oh, what a play there by Walker. She was falling out of bounds, she saved it, threw it off the Frontier player gates. She did. And they get the uh, possession. What a great play by Walker. Sophia has it on the right side. She'll go baseline, wrap around pass, left side to Caroline Ring. Walker gets it back, plenty of time on the shot clock, pass tipped away, loose ball on the floor, and it's picked up by Frontier, and all the way through, and putting it up and in was McKimmy, I uh, know that's LaFord. And we have a stoppage of play, Steve Kreitz, what's happening? Hi, nice hustle. All right, we're going to get a Pioneer substitution. Looks like, looks like somebody, looks like uh, Addie might have hurt herself. Yep, Harrington is off, is on the bench now. So Pioneer now back on the attack. They trail 28 to 19. Now a blocking foul is called on Frontier. You got Kirkendall on that one. That's uh, two team fouls this half now on Frontier. Two personals on the Ford. And going up for the shot and a foul down low on Frontier and to the line. It's going to be Kyler McClellan. Shooting off to her right, first free throw is up, and it is good. She gets the roll, makes it 28-20. It's two fouls personally on Kirkendall. 
wonder if this is Alec, Alex's sister. Alex McCall. I believe so. Yeah. Second free throw good. It's a seven point game. 28-21, Frontier with the ball. Top of the key, LaFour, quick release three. Got it, nothing but nylon. She is so good. She is an offensive force for sure. 31-21, lead back up to 10, just like that. Now a steal, three on zero break. But coming back defensively, the shot is up by Gates. Good, and a foul called against McClellan. Nice job right there by Molly Gates. The steal all the way down the court. Now a chance at a three-point play. And look how fast it happens, Bobby, with this Frontier team. Pioneer got it down to seven, and all of a sudden it's a 12-point game, a chance at a 13-point 13, uh, 13 margin here. It just happens so quickly. Free throw, rims out, no good. Lane violation. They got it on number 10, which is Potter. So we are going to have another free throw. Potter will actually check out. They're going to get Haley Ring back in there. All right, Gates now will shoot again for the chance at the three-point play and misses on the front rim. But the rebound, Kirkendall put it up no good. Caroline Ring gets the rebound and a reach and foul is going to be called against Fifield. I think they got Now that's Delaney. four team fouls already for Frontier. We didn't even have four with both teams in the whole first half. And that's three personal fouls called against Delaney Fifield. That will bear watching. It's only 5.20 to play here in the third. Ring lost her footing as she came through up ahead to LaFord. Kylie, the lefty lane is good. Ah, oh, nice changeover to be able to get that easy look to the hoop. The lead is 14, a 7-0 run by the Red Hawks. Pass is batted down. Here comes LaFord again. Another lefty lay in. Oh, she missed that one, though. That was a squander. Haley Ring takes it across the timeline right. Nearly carried it. Rejected by Fifield. Wow, all of a sudden the momentum really turning toward the home team. And by the way, the refs missed a serious carry. By yeah, that was a carry. <laughs> <laughs> as some of the crowd here, as some of the uh, crowd here pointed out. Yeah. Well, what happened was is the official started to turn back toward the hoop and he didn't see it. Quick release three on the right side. That's an air ball too strong. Frontier on the run. Up ahead, Mashan rejected by Ring. Nice play there by Haley. But here though, still with the big lead. Left side Walker shuffled her feet. She up faked and then didn't put the ball on the ground. Wow, they gotta find to get some offense going here. They're gonna get NJ into the game, her energy. Checking out is McClellan. 4.33 to play third quarter, 35-21 in favor of Frontier. They have led mostly throughout. Pioneer did lead briefly <coughs> early in the second. That's gonna be a travel as Michonne picked up her dribble. She was looking for a teammate who wasn't looking for the ball and she shuffled her feet. All right, play back on now. Haley Ring walks it across the timeline. Picked up by Michon, they loop a pass. Here comes Walker, Sophia, pull up jumper. Bounces around a couple of times, no good. On the floor, held ball, the arrow will favor Frontier. I tell you, there's a lot of body going on down low when those rebounds are happening. All of a sudden, when that ball bounces off the back of the iron, there's like five or six girls that are right there in the baseline. Yeah, we have a timeout on the floor. We'll step aside as well. 4-10 to play here. Third quarter, Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier 35, Pioneer 21. This is high school basketball on Bear Country 95.3. It'll be Frontier basketball here as we be resume play or Frontier a little late coming out of their huddle. And see so who they bring out. That's the five that were on the floor when they when we went to timeout. And right, so Pioneer will settle into their uh, half court defense here. We're halfway through the third. Frontier by 14. Top of the key is Kirkendall. And a foul is going to be called on Walker. A little, little bit of a hand check there, Bob. That's all it was, yep. Not much, but did impede the path of the 
offensive player, so technically a foul. Kirkendall, she shuffled her feet. She wanted to scrap for a three there and shuffled her feet. You know the sad part is, is when you end up shuffling your feet when you have no defender on you, that's a very frustrating yeah. thing for a coach. <laughs> yep. It really is. Unprovoked Yeah, unprovoked, turnover. yes, yeah. exactly. So Pioneer with a chance to try to get a little closer. NJ deep in the left side. Walker. Shuffle pass, they get it over, and now Collar did the same thing, shuffled her feet on the up fake. Yep. Easy to do. Oh yeah. I see it even in the NBA. I mean, even the pros are doing it. Well, the pros travel all the time. Oh God, yes. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. That's going to be a, another turnover on Pioneer, so go back to the Frontier Red Hawks here. Yeah, I mean, to uh, the Pioneer Panthers out there. Yeah, you watch a typical NBA game, and you can identify so many times where the officials just swallow their whistles. Ooh, Ooh a big collision. Man. And everybody's okay. Laura Collar went down especially hard. She's okay. Also involved there was uh, Mashan, and uh, she's okay. I'll tell you right now, I think... I think the bark sounded a little more worse than the bite. What do you think on that one? Yeah, I think so. NJ's double team. They work it around the perimeter. Oh, nice. nice defensive block by Fifield playing with those three fouls. And Pioneer is unable to score. Now pass comes right in front of us, Bobby. And clearing it away is McKimmy into the front court. Madison, top of the key. Gets it back to LaFord. Oh, nice pass down low, but a foul called on Frontier. They're gonna get uh, they're gonna get uh, Collar. Now is that, I think that's either the second or third on Collar. Let's see how many Laura has. 13 foul, and personally on Laura, that's two. Yeah, so she's only got two. There's really nobody in major foul trouble on either team. But Koski inbounds to Fifield. The hits from the right block. Nice play there by Delaney, a nice feed. 37-21, biggest lead of the night. For Frontier, they lead by 16. Walker gets it back to ring, right back to walk in the right corner. Try to get it down to NJ, off her hands. Another collision, you're right, Bobby. It's been an extremely physical game. Walker just got hammered, she'll go to the line for two. You know, especially when the ball's thrown up, that's when everybody's attacking the baseline and people are just bodies flying everywhere. Yeah, part of that is a product of very athletic kids out there you know you don't see that kind of uh, activity sometimes with less active less um, athletic kids but in this case that's what's going on here Walker missed the first and uh, she will get one more here we'll see if Sophia can get this one knocked down get our team a little bit closer Sophia lets it go that is off the back iron no good NJ gets the rebound she's double team and a kind of a blind shot is thrown up, no good. Loose ball on the floor, held ball. It'll go to Frontier. Katie Wells Robinson in the lineup now for the Hawks, by the way. And uh, Whitney Dunkley will check in right now for Pioneer. Walker will take a seat on the bench. They inbound it to Michonne. Olivia gets it back. And a foul away from the ball, that's going to go against Frontier. That's the uh, seventh team foul. And that's the first that'll be called on Wells Robinson. NJ, quick release, banks it in for two from the left side. Makes it 37-23, Frontier by 14. And a blocking foul called against Pioneer. What happened was is Collar ended up trying to be able to work the baseline, I mean work the sideline, and she ended up losing the battle. They get it in to Kylie LaFord, runs into the right corner, and then going for the steal and running it out of bounds was Ring, Haley Ring. Sitting down is Michonne for Frontier, and back out there is Kirkendall. Frontier with the possession. They lead by 14, they throw it out deep. To Kirkendall, clear, has it, top of the key. Foul line, dumps it down low. Shot is blocked though, down low. Picked up by Pioneer. Wells Robinson going for the steal. Loose ball on the floor. Whitley Dunkley has it, now that's batted around. Boy, this is crazy, back and forth action, finally. Oh, now you get a backcourt violation. 
as the fourth threw it to Kirkendall, who had not quite made it over the half court line. Coach Michon pointed to the basket like, we gotta go this way. <laughs> <laughs> That was crazy. That kind of reminded me more of like uh, in hockey where the teams are kind of mucking around at yeah. the center ice, back and forth. That's what was happening. NJ attacking the bucket. Puts it up no good. Katie Wells Robinson goes down hard. She committed the foul. Boy, there's a lot of bodies falling here tonight. Yep, that is two on Katie. I'll tell you right now, they probably won't have to do any sweeping at the end. No. <laughs> oh, it could be one of those nice nights for the custodian here, you know. He's going to have the night off. All right, NJ puts up the first, that is no good. And Foto will get one more here. It's the ball back from Johnny O, the official. Bounces it three, four, five times, dips, shoots, and gets the kind bounce there. Rattles in for her, 37-24, Frontier by 13, under two to play here on the third. Still plenty of time for Pioneer, but They'll lock down defensively for sure. Kirkendall, top of the key, gets a screen. Claire, the leaner, is blocked. Nice defensive play there by Ring, but fell down along the baseline. Now another collision, and it goes out of bounds. That's going to be a travel call on NJ, and they'll go back to Frontier. Well, if there was a score on hustle points, we might be in the 80s. And who is going to throw in for Frontier? Hutkowski? Yes. Hutkowski will throw in on the baseline. Gets the ball from Steve Kreitz. Waiting, waiting. That's three. That's four. That's five. Yep. Was... Nope. They got the T.O. It Ooh. was just about to go to five. All right. We'll take a quick 30-second timeout. A minute 38 left to play here. Third quarter. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier 37, Pioneer 24 on Bear Country 5.3. Coming out of the timeout, the inbound, the basketball. Madison McKimmy has the top of the key for Frontier. They lead by 14, had it, lost it, and they're gonna get it with a travel. Nice D there by Pioneer. Excellent job right there by McClellan to be able to play some D up. They need O though, Bobby, to get back in this. They need some makes here. Big time. NJ, deep on the left. It's a back to McClellan. Top of the key, shuffle pass, collar. Over the ring, Haley. Down low to NJ, off her hands though, out of bounds. That's a squander, they had a good opportunity. You know, you gotta, I'm gonna show you something that you, that you might not have noticed yet. The, the refs don't do the, the movement of their hands going up the court anymore. They, oh, stopped, they stopped it. I, I did not notice that, Bobby. Yeah. They literally now go by the by the clock, by the shot clock on the 10 second rule. Katie Wells Robinson frees herself for a shot, just couldn't fall, held ball on the rebound. The arrow will favor Pioneer. So if you got someone who's an old timer saying, oh, you know, they always just go like this to get the 10 second count, what's going on? Well, they now look at the shot clock now. All right, 50 seconds left here in the third. 37-24, Frontiers, the third quarter is kind of Offensively, they've really ground to a halt. A little hand check foul call, that's gonna go on 22. Elliot Koski. And uh, that's nine fouls, so one and one for a caller. One more, they'll be in the double bonus here. I mean, that could be a big help, but now you attack the basket. Try to get yourself some easy opportunities oh, now. Oh, they should be doing that now anyway. Oh yeah, that should have been done after. They, they started doing that at the beginning of the half. All right, front end of the one and one is up. It is good. Hit the back iron and fell through four. She'll get one more here. The first two buckets that were scored in the second half by Pioneer were going to the hoop. And then they, they haven't really done much after that. Second one is on the way. That is no good. Battle for the rebound. It's out of bounds. It is off of NJ. So it'll go back to Frontier now. Comfortably had they lead by 12. 41 seconds left here in the third. They get it up ahead. And trying to go all the way through is LaFord and loses it out of bounds. Kicked, her, kicked off her foot. That's the second time tonight that she had it kicked off her foot. Yep. 
That's true. All in all though, a fine effort by one of the top players in Franklin County, Kyla LaFord. Absolutely, she's really fun to watch. Ooh, and the same thing happened now. There. On the other end, same thing happens. Driven the ball off of her leg was Haley Ring. 27.1 seconds left, third quarter. Frontier gets it back, McKimmy. Center court circle takes it across. Little back and forth dribbling. Stops and drag that pivot foot. She's arguing, but she did drag that pivot foot. She did. Madison looks at her coach saying, hey, what did I do? You know what you do now if you're buying air? You got to make a bucket. Get this thing down to 10 or 9. They're down by 12 right now. They have the last possession if they want it. 12 seconds left here in the third quarter. Being double teamed is ring. Stops, pops on the right side, went for the bank, no good. Battle for the board on the rebound, held ball. It'll be frontier ball with 2.1 seconds left. All right, long pass down court. Caught by LaFour, puts it up at the buzzer, no good. End of three here in South Deerfield. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, the Frontier Redhawks, 37. The Pioneer Panthers, 25. Fourth quarter action next on Bear Country, 95.3. At halftime, a nine point lead for Frontier. They go into the fourth now, leading by 12. Tell you right now, they're chipping away to be able to put this game out of reach. But the one thing that Pioneer can do is if they can come out here in the fourth quarter and they can get a couple early buckets, now all of a sudden you can sort of put Frontier into a place where they have to be able to start making shots. They throw in, they try to get it to ring, but it picked off by McKimmy. So not a good start to the fourth for Pioneer trying to get back into the game. And now a three pointer up by McKimmy, no good. And it's picked up by Collar, gets it to Sophia Walker. Poked away, but a foul, oh, you know what? Uh, Kylie LaFord, I think, has a case. I think that was kind of a, a, a clean poke away. And she just picked up her foul. Is that three or four? Three. That is three on her. That will bear watching. That may, you know, again, we didn't have a great angle on it, but it looked pretty clean. You know what the big thing was, though? Two free shots, because they're in double bonus. And the first free throw is good. 100% agree with you, Bobby C. If you're a pioneer, you know, you, you can fiddle and diddle around the perimeter, but you'd be much better served taking it aggressively to the bucket. Second free throw, no good, but Caroline Ring gets it, goes up, got blocked, and Hukoski has it in the backcourt. Looking to get rid of it, she's in big trouble, goes out of bounds. Yeah, nice play there, she got it off the pioneer player. And they can inbound again. All right. Good D. Kosky finally does get it into Kirkendall. And a timeout is called. We're going to keep it right here because we need to we need to talk strategy. All right. Kevin Harrington's going to huddle up his girls. Dave Michon likewise on the other side. So it's Frontier's ball game at this point. They lead by 11. Uh, good job, though, um, as you mentioned. They were breaking towards the basket. They got the foul called on that attempted poke away from behind. But again, Pioneer, really, they have an opportunity here to really force the issue, maybe get back into this game. And you got to remember, if you've got a couple people that are in foul trouble, they're going to be backing off because they don't want to be able to get kicked out of this game because of fouls. So now your opportunity to be able to sort of tack in the basket, this is the time to do it. I mean, right now you're in a situation where you can get it back down into single digits, and you got to do it now. The scary thing about this Frontier team, though, Pioneer got it down to seven in the third quarter, and then it was a 6-0 run, seemingly like that. You snap your fingers, they're down by 13 all of a sudden. So, yeah, it is, uh, it's, uh, it's 11 now, it's within range. We'll see what they can do it defensively uh, on this possession against uh, the Frontier Red Hawks. I've been very impressed with the defense here at Pioneer, for sure, here tonight, but definitely Frontier is really made it very hard for Pioneer to be able to get some easy buckets, and that's why they're sitting here with only 36 points. But Frontier's only got 37 on a night where they could have had a lot more against other teams. Pioneer has done a good job. All right, they inbound it to Kirkendall. She takes it across on the left side. Now angles towards the right, takes it all the way through. Little scoop shot, puts it up and in. 
Nice attack right there, and that's a big bucket right there for Frontier. Lead back up to 13 at 39-26. 7.15 to play in regulation. MJ, left side. Rain, they get it back. Three-pointer by Collar is short. Rebound taken down by Fifield, playing with three fouls. And Frontier back on the attack again. Kirkendall runs it up. Jump pass over the right side. McKimmy had it poked away. Nice D there. Coming back is Ring. And Haley takes it in, lays it up and in. Nice attack right there. You gotta continue doing that if you're a pioneer, if you wanna get back in this. 39-28, Hawks lead by 11. They have been the dominant team tonight, but they can't quite shed themselves a Pioneer. Down low, LaFord nearly got away with a walk. Three-pointer put up, no good. Uspaldo picked up, held ball. Possession arrow will favor Frontier. Nice job right there. Mayendai to be able to get down on the ground and make that held ball because now it'll be a possession arrow that's an advantage for Pioneer now because of that. Yep. Marshawn just checked in. I almost called her Ashley. That's her mom. Olivia Marshawn just checked in. Near the center court circle. Getting a screen. They go back door. There's that play again. LaFord couldn't finish though on the other end. Comes down to Walker, up ahead to Caroline Ring. Caroline running it up, stops for her teammates. Gets a two caller, she'll take one from 18. That is no good, and a foul on the rebound. I think that was from one of the Pioneer girls coming in to try to get the rebound. I think they got Walker. Yeah, because she was the one that was coming in, yep. It was, it was on Walker, her third, so I'll bear watching Sophia trying to, you know, she wants to be out there at the end of this game for sure. One of their top ball players, nearly a steal there by Walker, but ends up out of bounds. It'll stay with Frontier. We're down to 5.58 to play. They lead by 11. Now the officials are going to confer. They're going to reverse. It'll be Pioneer Ball. No protest from the Frontier bench, so evidently they got that right. All right, they inbound it to Walker. Sophia at the free throw line. Caroline Ring puts it to the floor. Double team, passes, and it's picked off. Really thrown right to Kirkendall, Claire. Will peel it back. Nice play there. The numbers weren't there. Throws right side to Machine. Olivia puts it to the floor. Runs it up. And a foul called against Pioneer. See what they got. Getting closer to that bonus, and got one more now before they get the one and one. Yeah, 16 fouls. That is a personal foul number one. So right now, we're sitting at the next foul. Everything will be all free throws, both teams. Yeah, that was Haley Ring, by the way, her first personal. Coming all the way through, pass gets tipped out of bounds, and uh, it's going to go back to whom? The Frontier Ball. Kirk and Daw will inbound, baseline left. Gets it into LaFour. They jump out on her. Kylie bounce pass back to Mashan. Mashan had it poked away by NJ. And Foto's going to go one on two. Can't convert the layup. And it's tipped out of bounds. Looks like it was off Walker. No. It'll be Pioneer basketball. No doubt, these, <clears throat> both these teams have played very hard here tonight, Jeff. They've done a great job, both teams being able to play good D and try to get in each other's face. Molly Gates in, Haley Hudkowski is out. The inbound to Walker, right side, that's a miss. Offensive rebound though, Collar, and they can't get it away from Delaney Fifield. Long pass down court. Uh, Molly Gates puts it up from the left block. That is no good. Put back is up, no good. Another offensive rebound taken down by Kirkendall and a foul. Good job right there by Frontier to be able to attack. Seventh team foul. And that is four personal fouls now on Laura Collar. Front end of the one and one is back iron no good, and it comes down the Caroline ring. 4.50 to play, and a traveling call 
against Pioneer. It'll go right back to Frontier now with 4.49 to play. And the inbound it. Perkendall will walk it across the timeline. Takes it towards the right, guarded closely by Foda NJ. And a traveling call against LaFord. Nice deed there by Sophia Walker to provoke that turnover. McKimmy checks in for Frontier. And sitting down will be Mashawn. Goes over and talk to uh, Dad on the way to the bench. We're halfway through the fourth, an 11 point lead for Frontier. Walker for three, top of the key, went for the bank, no good, and Haley Ring got the rebound, little scoop shot, no good, but a foul, she'll go to the line for two free throws here. She's a good free throw shooter. Right. They need these two right now. Yeah, two makes will make it a three possession game. Let's see if she can get there. First one is up, that is no good, it rimmed out. One of those in and out. Walker checks out. Whitney Dunkley is in. Second free throw now for Ring. It's Haley Ring. That one's off the back iron, no good. Deep rebound comes out to Gates, and she traveled. She did. Nice job right there by, by Ring to be able to know that she missed the shot. She went to follow it. It turned out to be to their advantage. Now they got to make a bucket. Yep, they're not going to have too many possessions left in this game. And an open jumper by Laura Collar. That is no good. Went for the bank shot. One and done. No offensive rebounding on that possession for Pioneer. So Frontier back at it. McKimmy between the circles. Gets it left side to LaForce. She's got a quick release three. And it went in, but it hit the top of the backboard first. Yeah. She's and like, the support, yeah. She's like, give me that three. <laughs> Unfortunately, it hit the top of the old... Uh, the. the there's that, like a... There's a guy wire. There's, there's guy, guy wires. Yeah, those wires, exactly. The guy wires, yeah. And that, that waves off any, any made free throw. Or a three, for that matter. Nice up fake. Shot up no good by Ring. Haley just couldn't convert. And now Haley, a little frustration foul. Yep. As she ran in to try to make something happen, and she committed the foul, and we're shooting on the other end. You got the one-on-one -on -one here. McClellan in. And checking out is Caroline Ring. All right. Delaney Fifield shooting one and one. First one is up. It is no good. Foda NJ gets the rebound. All right, we're down to 3.35 to play. Nice ball movement. Top of the key. Three-pointer put up. By McClellan, no good. So they didn't convert. They ran a great offensive set there, however. They did. <coughs> the pass is low at the feet of LaFord. They recapture the all by herself as Fifield and gets out a nice feed from McKimmy. Nice job right there by Madison to make that play. Lead back up to 13. So looking very much like Frontier will keep them at arm's length and get the W. Go to 5 0 on the year. Laura Collar, her pass is picked up by Frontier, held ball. And it'll be Frontier basketball. Down the 258 to play. Our post-game show coming up in a bit. McKimmy will throw in right in front of the Pioneer bench. Gets it in to Kirkendall. And now LaFord, and they'll kind of spread the floor here a little bit. Just run their offense. McKimmy throws up a blind runner. That is no good. Offensive rebound by Kirkendall. Back, Gates, jumper, rimmed out, no good. Crowd was ready to erupt on that one. Pioneer needs a make, coming all the way through. Laura Collar traveling before she shot that basketball. Well, we're, we're down to 235 and still a 13-point game here. And a timeout is called by Pioneer, so it's going to be Frontier basketball. Yeah, I just don't think there are enough possessions left for Pioneer. You gotta give a lot of credit to Frontier, even with Pioneer 
is scratching and clawing their way back. They always seem to make the big play defensively and making the big bucket on the offensive side. And they've done it all night. The one thing I can say about Pioneer, though, is the one thing that really hurt them here tonight was being able to put the ball in the hoop. I mean, if they were able to put the ball in the hoop and made a couple of their easy bunnies down low and a couple of their free throws that were in and out, this could be a different game right now. But right now, it looks like Frontier's in command. And if I'm Coach Michonne, what I'm going to do is if I get the ball, I'm going to make them foul me. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to move the ball around. We're going to do a spread. And that way, we're going to just sort of kill some of this clock here. Again. Seal the deal. Yep, there's only a precious few possessions remaining and still a 13-point lead for their Red Hawks. Their biggest lead tonight was 16. Pioneer's biggest lead was one at 11-10. Uh, no right. doubt about it, defense has been pretty much the word for this game as far as both teams. They both have worked very hard on the defensive end. All right, Frontier comes out with the five they had on the floor heading into the timeout. Yep, because I see Gates out there. And LaFord gets it in to Kirkendall. Claire runs it up on the right. And there they go. They're going to spread the floor and just play keep away here. Kill some clock. Exactly. That's yeah. ah. well, it's a bumping foul called against Foda NJ. And now, uh, is that the 10th? No, that's a nine. So, nine. They, so they, one and they, one yep. still. So you still get a chance to get the ball back here if she misses. Front end of the one and one is on its way. Back rim, no good. Battle for the rebound. Held ball. It'll be Pioneer basketball. 2.20 to play. Frontier by 13. We'll have our postgame show. We'll... Get you back to uh, Leah in progress right after the post-game show. Kevin has local sports updates at 6.40 and 8.40 tomorrow morning. Jumper up from the left side. That is no good for McClellan. And we're down to two minutes to play. Frontier about to go to 5-0 on the young season. The Pioneers going to be 0-2. They're going to get their fair share of wins. We know that. But will not happen tonight. Nice give and go there. Unable to complete the play though with Spikefield. Deep on the right side is Ring. This is Haley Ring. Had it stolen by Gates. And then a foul on Ring trying to get the ball back. Double bonus now for both teams. Now we're shooting two on the other end. That's three personal fouls now on Haley Ring. Molly Gates to the free throw line, shooting two. First of two is up, no good. Pioneer crashed the lane, not realizing it was double bonus and two shots. Fifield gets a nice hand as she gets replaced in the lineup. And it's uh, Bree, Bree Strozik. Yeah. Brianna, but color Bree. Second free throw, no good. Offensive rebound, though, by Kirkendall. Goes right down low. They work it around. Tipped out of bounds. Ends up towards us. It'll stay with Frontier. Gates will inbound just off to our left. And uh, inbounds pass is tipped. Out of bounds. It'll go now to Pioneer. Yeah, they were saying it was Pioneer Ball, and then there was a protest from the crowd, and for the second time tonight, we have an overrule, and it's going to be Frontier Ball. The uh, Pioneer girls are saying, hey, what's going on? Yeah, they overruled. Now, it happened very quickly. I'm not sure if they got it right. The fans here at Frontier saying they absolutely got the call right. Go to the uh, replay judge in New York. <laughs> See what he says. Shot up inside. That's no good. Gene Steratore, what did you say? <laughs> I saw that it was Frontier Ball. Okay. Thank you, Gene. <laughs> Photo NJ misses from the right side. 
Yeah, the shooting percentage quite low for Pioneer, but they're a work in progress. Only their second game of the season here. It's for under a minute to play now. Killing some time. Oh, we have another new Frontier Red Hot. Ashley Taylor just checked in, number four. She has the basketball right now. Shot clock down to 10. Ashley Taylor and shuffled those feet. That's a travel. Down to 40 seconds to play in this one. Left side shot by Foda NJ, no good. Gates got the rebound. Nearly thrown out of bounds, but recaptured. Some of the crowd heading out now. Warming up their cars. It's a cold night out there. It's gonna get down to the uh, low teens in most areas tonight. Pass goes out of bounds, it'll stay with Frontier. Shot clock is off, 21 seconds. On the game clock here in the fourth. McKimmy throws left side, little give and go. Madison, went for the bank, no good. And the rebound by Gates is good. 43-28 with four seconds left from center court, a three-pointer, put up, it's good! At the buzzer, <laughs> Haley Ring hit it from center court. Wow. But Frontier still gets the win. 43-31 is our final score on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Our post-game show next on Bear Country 95.3. And back at Goodno Gymnasium in South Deerfield, the Bear Country High School basketball post-game report. Frontier goes to 5-0 on the young season as they knock off Pioneer by a final score of 43-31. They got an early lead. Bobby Frontier was able to make a big charge there early in the second quarter to take a brief one-point lead, but then a quick run by Frontier got them the lead that they never relinquished. Yeah, they did a nice job being able to take those jabs that were coming to them from Pioneer. Every time that they ended up uh, punching good, all of a sudden counter punches kept coming back. And they did that, honestly, from the first part of the game, <clears throat> excuse me, Jeff, until really right near the end. And what a nice job to be able to have a couple of fun plays at the end of the game that sort of gave us a little bit of excitement after a while of just sort of throwing the ball around. And that's really what happened the last three minutes of the game. It sort of got a little sloppy. It did at one point. 12-point uh, victory here for the, uh, for the uh, Frontier Red Hawks. Bobby, we'll have you run the final numbers. Okay, leading the way for Frontier. What a night. And boy, she's going to have a night every night. Kylie LaFord ended up with 18. You also had eight points from Delaney Fifield. You had six from Claire Kirkendall, also four from Molly Gates, four from Haley Hakoski, and also three from Olivia Michon. There's your 43 for Frontier. Now for Pioneer, leading the way with 11 was Haley Ring, seven from Laura Collar, also five each from Foda Endai, and also from Kyler McClellan. And then there was three from Sophia Walker. There you have it, final score tonight, 43-31 Frontier. They stay undefeated on the season. And Pioneer drops to 0-2 on their young season, but they're just getting started. They have plenty of Ws in their future this winter. There's no doubt, and think about this. They, they, they faced, as far as I'm concerned, probably the two best teams that they're going to see this year early in the year. So they're off to an 0-2 start, but don't get down. Just be able to stay positive. Final score one more time here tonight in South Deerfield on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. The Frontier Red Hawks, 43. The Pioneer Panthers, 31 for Bobby C. And for our studio producer, Dave Reno. I'm Jeff Terrell. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Have a great night in Bear Country, everyone. <laughs>